All right, in these demonstrations, I'm gonna show you the power of air pressure. So first, I have these two beakers with baggies. Now, this beaker was set up to the baggies outside, and right now, the pressure inside the beaker and baggie and outside are the same. So when I try to push down on the baggie, I can't push it into the beaker, okay? It's resisting that change. And likewise here, when I try to pull this, this beaker, this baggie out of the beaker, you can actually see that um, air pressure is pushing down on it, okay? So basically the force of atmospheric pressure is preventing me from changing these baggies from making this one out and this one in. Now, this is something that you can do, you know, when you're hanging out with your friends, at parties, people think you're really cool. So fill up a cup of water. It doesn't have to be like to surface tension, but pretty high. And then I'm gonna place a card on the top of the cup, carefully flip it over, and now I'm gonna let go. And, the card stays put where it is. Now, you might think, oh, well, it's just like some kind of surface tension or traction with the water, and that's not actually the case. So this is a consequence of atmospheric pressure. Now, eventually, the card's gonna get completely soaked and sort of start disintegrating, and then it'll fall off, but this will stay for quite some time, and if I used something a little more sturdy than this um, index card, it would stay a lot longer. So now it's kind of getting soaked, and it'll fall apart. All right, so I want you to think about how atmospheric pressure is playing a role in both of those.